Um, oh, that's a uh, Mundo. Mundo Smash. I really would like bot lane to stop doing jungle camps too. As we saw last game, if your bot lane does a jungle camp and their bot lane has Caitlyn and just camps the bushes, your bot lane like auto loses. They'll get poked so hard at level 1, they won't be able to walk up to the wave. I think that's something that needs to be pushed harder, is the understanding of like the bot lane meta. Because if you do a jungle camp and they don't do it and they have enough range damage, like it doesn't matter that you got the jungle camp, you won't be able to lane. Just straight beat you. I don't think they're going to do the jungle camp, I guess, which is great, because they should just camp the bushes and play the lane out at level 1. It, we've come full circle. For the longest time, it was like, if you didn't get the jungle camp, you'd lose lane. Now it's like, if you do the jungle camp, you lose lane. It's crazy. How the meta evolved. It's it's changed because people are playing more range supports than before. And back when people were playing melee supports like Alistar, obviously it was better to uh, prioritize doing the level 2 rush when it can mean you winning. Maybe I should have started on blue. I always... Yeah, I should have started on blue. I always like go back and forth between starting on Gromp and starting on Blue. I think usually it's better to start on Blue on Hecarim because it just means you can jungle faster, even though you won't be able to do a full clear cleanly since you're not Gromp is like the hardest one for you to do. I definitely should have started on Blue this game. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight to Red. I uh, when you're like in the prey matchup, like they're the predator, you're the you're the prey. You need to usually be really careful when you're on your red, because they'll probably invade and then try to fight you. Lee is really good at just like he could just go from his gromp to my red and, and try to first blood me. So, gotta be really careful when you're on your red. Okay. Once again, man, I I am so bad about this recently. I just forget to check when it, when they're when you're finishing your first camp, you need to be looking at their bot lane and see if they like did a jungle camp or not. It looks like we're not going to be able to pressure this. Our bot lane's pushing too hard. They should have cooled their push if I'm on bot side, so we could get an early gank there. Yeah, top lane's pushing really hard. That would normally be a really good lane for me to gank. But we start at top side, and we can't just like go bot lane and then run top. You're wasting a lot of time doing that. He is susceptible to being ganked. But that could also mean that Lee sends top side if bot lane leashed. Now it's really risky for me to go top because, uh. Yeah, Lee Sin could be top side. So a lot of times, the if you're like low in ganking, their jungler could just be waiting for you. Like a good counter gank can be better than an actual gank, as we saw last game. Like, because when you're ganking, you're like burning summoners, you're getting low, you're fighting, you're trading, you're overextending to try to finish the target, and it just absolutely wrecks you when it backfires. Right, at least in his bot side, nice. We can gank top now. We just have to do it well. There's no word out. Oh, he lived. He leveled up. Oh, my word. <laughs> Level up. Yeah, I was trying to kill the minis as fast as possible, and it actually saved his hiney there. Okie dokie. Mundo has TP. He's not going to use it, though. Mm. I don't know. Could be good. Mm, looks like it's not gonna work out. Wait, no, no, it's not gonna work out. Ah, uh, they're fighting in a big wave. Wait. Okay, I stand corrected. Pleasantly surprised. I guess they turned around and tried to fight it when 
all they have to do is like survive and then our top laner gets really behind because he's not farming top right now even though their jacks got first blooded he's actually laning right now and getting golden experience Oh man, I need this win. I'm gonna try really hard to win this. <laughs> I've lost so many games today that I feel really upset over. I just need to get some wins going. Get my juices flowing again. My mojo. Get my mojo back. Did he use any summoners? He didn't use ghosts, he just died. We'll hit six before we gank. I'm going to keep an eye on what he does. So if he goes to ward right away... Yeah, he's going to ward right away. We'll probably have to go around. Either that or we just gank bot lane. I don't know. I th think I'm going to have to decide really soon. I wish bot lane would stop pushing. It's making it hard for me to decide because if bot lane just keeps doing that, it's not worth, not worth it. He's got a wave to jump to. Can we can we kill this? Okay, no no no. no. We just popped his ghost. My ghost for his ghost. I thought about ulting, but the minion wave is there. Oh no. He just. He's not six yet. Okay. If LeBlanc had gotten there, or Ryze didn't get there, I could probably solo kill the Lee Sin. More than likely. Because he wasn't six yet. I thought he might hit six. He was very close to it. He hit six now. I thought he might hit six after killing the Mundo, but, um. It was kind of fortunate. Because then it would have gotten real messy. He would just kick me into the wall and I wouldn't win the 1v1. It's a good throne from LeBlanc. One shot. I'll start on my blue and probably clear and gank again. You know, I probably should have saved my ult to hit Lee and the Jax instead of just trying to burst the Jax. Oh man, he's just going crazy. Oh, both junglers are here now. Cool. Good job, buddy. Wait, please tell me Rise is not here before you. Whee! Okay, Rise is mid. Should we hit the tower? You know, I think their top laner has TP again. He doesn't have TP, this is his first turret. No! Yes! Worth it. We get the first tower gold, plus we get a kill, plus an assist. And then their top laner's dead again, so he can't farm. Good enough. I might lose bot side jungle. If their jungler is smart, he counter jungles after seeing me top. If he's scared, he won't do it. Should we do ninja tabbies? Looks like a good game to do ninja tabbies in. They have mostly physical damage. Like Lee and Jax and Ezreal are very auto attack based. Ninjas can be good against that. I'm gonna run it down bot. Even if my red's gone, there's no reason to check it when there's a potential easy kill in the waiting. Oh, I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, that was a nice flash from him. 
Oh, that was a good kick. I need to turn this into uh Did she chain that? Oh she's got the chain. Exhausted. Whoa, they had a lot of summoners up. No 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 you go. You going crazy, son. Yeah, you better flash away. Okay. We should chill. Um Yeah, I'll, I'll try to I'll try to catch him. Just <laughs> his team left him. That can happen. Like I think if they all stayed under the tower, it would be really hard for us to dive them since they could just two second rise snare whoever has tower aggro and then they could have Lee focus that guy. But they were pretty low on summoners. They were scared. And then they left the rise. Lee just smited that, so we know where he is. I, I don't think I can get to him, because he can just like safeguard over and live. I'm just gonna go back to jungling. We have a pretty healthy lead going now. Two tower advantage. Gold advantage from kills, experience advantage across the board. Actually, no. Our experience advantage is not as big as I thought it was going to be. Actually, they have more experience in some carries, like their ADC. Alright, I need to go back. Can I buy the item I want to buy? Yes, I will. I just have to wait a little bit. Switch this out. Sweeper. <clears throat> making weird noises now. <laughs> the noises I make when I'm uh, tired, thirsty, hungry. Although this game I'm pretty fed. Almost a 13 minute Trinity Force. Would have had it if I skipped boots, but never want to skip boots on Hecarim. Where's your word? The Aram has begun. <laughs> they have begun Aramming. Dodge skill shots. Someone have a sweeper. Double sweeper. Wait, that dude just shifted over. Can we? We can't punish that, man. If only Nami was closer to bubble that. That was really sketchy maneuvering from Ezreal to shift into a Hecarim over a wall next to a tower. But, you know. I'm not tanking up to dive in 1v5. I, I don't have any tank items yet. Not any dedicated tank items, at least. So, we need to try to push for something. Can I snipe this Ezreal? Alright, let's go for it. Let's see what we can do. Help, 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 help. No! No, I don't have kick! Yeah. Okay, we out. I definitely would have died going this way because Ryze was on that side. Plus Lee. I guess Lee Sin just didn't use kick. I can't imagine him like... I'm, I'm okay here. I can't imagine him uh, having used kick on anyone else before that, but maybe I'm wrong. I think he just thought that if he kicked me, he had to like kick me like this way or that way or against the wall. Mm, that guy's dead. I'm not gonna be able to save that. Oh, sorry about that. I I didn't realize how loud I was. I was pretty loud. How fast is this guy? Oh, he's so fast. Hmm. We're like losing this ARAM. What the heck?
Are they really on this? Nah, not. He's trying to fight over a vision that they can't fight over right now. Okay, they left, they left mid undefended. We should be taking this. Range champions hit it. Finally, we've taken all the outer turrets. I think I can come in behind this guy. He knows. He's getting greedy though. Yo, you can catch him. Wait, he's running into my team. Oh, I queued a little bit too early. Could have sniped that kill, KS that. No, I'm gonna waste ghost maybe. He can almost live here. Oh, so close. Never mind, what is he doing? Oh, he's getting greedy there actually. Hmm. I might not be able to survive against Rise. I need to get to LeBlanc. I sp scared them? Yeah, they're scared. Maybe I should have just pretended like I was still scared. I can help you out here, bud. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Alright, nice. Hashinshin smash. Hashinshin chase. A Shinshin die. Those are all the motions of a Shinshin. <laughs> they need to be really careful about doing that. You'll take a lot of damage in Rift Herald. You don't see pro teams do it when the game is close because uh, it's not really worth it. You take a ton of damage doing that. Even Mundo's like losing a lot of health. So if their team contested that, we'll please finish it. He's going to steal it. Hit the eye. I will finish it here. Okay. That guy's... <laughs> Wait, how did MF into that side? <laughs> I, I stop my back because I can actually afford a better buy. I can straight up buy my jungle item now. Should I be the one that goes against Jax? The thing is, I'm like 90% sure I can beat him 1v1, but if for some reason I lose to him 1v1, I might tilt. Alright, he's 100% dead. He's not getting away from this. Unless he's got Ghost and we don't hit any more Cleavers. Okay. If he had kept tagging him with Cleavers, he was gonzo. Because I have Ghost up in ult, so I could match his movement speed. I just needed one more Cleaver to hit. Probably could have gotten it. I mean, I have uh, the first Cloud Drake. So that can definitely help you chase targets down. Oh, here we go. Is he alone? You alone, bro? Mundo's gonna need some assistance. Yeah, he's getting. We can actually turn this around, though. Let's just snipe this guy. Get out of the tower. Get back in the tower. Uh, go smash, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it, don't worry. Just get this guy to you. Okay. Uh, that was a nice hook. Uh, that was a nice hook. I, I think I was actually fine if I didn't get hooked. I got minion blocked. And uh, yeah, we were pretty deep there. Ended up being a 
full on fight. In the end, it e ends up being an equal trade, and they should be able to get more out of this, like tower pressure, maybe more kills. But um, Mundo and I went crazy. Got a lot of summoners out of that, too. The good news is, if we just like group now and press our advantage, it's gonna be really easy to win. Because we go for a Rise without Ghost or Flash, we go for an Ezreal without Flash, they're gonna get run down. But when you uh, dive an inhibitor tower and soak in it, just take a shower and the inhibitor damage, that's definitely a way you can uh, die and throw the game. Luckily for us, it ended up being an even trade, and we got more summoners out of it that will be better for us catching targets. Like, I don't really need Ghost to catch and kill a carry, it just makes it easier. But those carries that have flash make it so I can't kill them. Oh, hey. I'm gonna go for it. This is a long enough fight that their team can probably get here. Mundo and I need to be a little bit more careful. I kind of egged him on there by ulting, but I mean, I obviously lived and he died. He could have backed out right when I did and been okay. We just need to, if we have the match rotations from their team, we're a-okay. Because we, we're winning 2v2 like so obscenely hard, but we don't win 5v2, not yet. Maybe eventually. to uh, have our team follow that roam. MF was bought, LeBlanc didn't really roam at all. Ryze just ran up there and went for it. Hey, let's group. It's definitely a way we could lose this, is if Mundo, I, if Mundo and I like 2v5 die and, and we're right next to Baron. So, could have been really bad if we both died. They might have actually tried it. Since it was relatively close. Oop, by yourself. Yeah, I'm not really looking to dive in there. Is that Lee Flash? It's another Wind Dragon. We can use the Wind Dragon to make catches. So I'm not too disappointed to see a wind dragon after we already have one. Um, also, I, in that last play, I autoed the Jax while he had his counter strike up when I should have autoed the, the rise. I wasn't close enough, but I should have just moved past him because it just wasted a sheen proc and also made his counter strike do more damage. But I wasn't sure when it was going to fade. It was like the very last part of it. I'm gonna grab this. They need to be really chill mid. Just chill one sec. We just need to push out these lanes. All right, please be chill. They're gonna run at you. They're gonna try to force a fight, but we have double wind dragon. I can get there right after I push this in. The great news is like a lot of times they will uh, like overextend to try to chase my team, making it so much easier for us to fight them when they normally just be sitting under the tower. All right, let's keep an eye on this. Going for it. Just getting instantly exhausted. Ghost for exhaust, eh, I'll take it. And team fights that exhaust is gonna like mitigate more than my ghost will create. But this is pretty much how I want to play this game. Have most of our team grouped around mid, me and Mundo push out side lanes, then collapse. Can I catch him? I need like a blue trinket. Yeah, okay. He's got jump. Let's see if we can finish him. Okay, don't want to get kicked into the tower. Dodge hook. Nice. 
We got we got a bunch of people behind me. Rise is top though. It's possible we could win this fight. If we hit that Nami bubble on him, it would have been hilarious. Oh, that's the target that did not need to get hooked. That was bonkers. Oh, he's got red buff. Please win the 1v1. No, you're not gonna win the 1v1. Mundo, do mundo things. Mundo smash. Okay, did we want killed rise? This is turning into a fine clown fiesta. Uh oh. Mechanical misplay. Not gonna get to him. Now you did. Run. Please don't die. Okay, good. He had double cloud dragon, so if he died, it would have been because the Jax had ghost. Which he used when he was trying to survive against me. Okay. This uh, chain vest buy makes me so much tankier than I was before. Because I have a lot of health, but I just need to multiply that effective tankiness. Oh. Sorry, I was... Uh, huh, chat, you guys are, uh, you guys are doing some weird stuff. I don't think I can catch and kill him. Does he have armor? Yeah, he's got some armor now. It would be a long chase. It's probably not worth it. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna probably put it in sub mode for a second and let you guys chill out. I mean, uh, <laughs> just just be chill, guys. I can't really stop it. Will they rush Baron if we go for this? I don't know. It's possible, I guess. down. Someone on our team is dead. We're losing this fight now. Alright, we lost LeBlanc really early there. We're just straight losing the fight. Windows on the wrong target. Should be trying to save the MF. Nice flash though. Ooh. They got a good flash to match it. Alright. We got teleport, but they're probably going to get this Baron. I'd say they're definitely going to get Baron. LeBlanc needs to like, gun for that. Man, how did we lose that? That's so hard. How did LeBlanc die? She's such a big part of our damage. We can have all the beefy frontline as, as we want, but if we can't kill their carries... Unzo. Okay, LeBlanc, it's up to you. Kill the lead first. Try to steal Baron. WR. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Man, we like lost that 4v4, I guess. Like we killed the Jax and then we didn't have enough damage to kill their team. Feels pretty bad, man. We're probably gonna lose this if we uh, can't win when they don't have Baron under equal circumstances. Their Jax is not a part of that fight. Will. 
Moment of silence for this game if we can't win it. Good catch. It's a good start to a comeback to throw in. We need a couple more. Hakram is so strong, but I definitely feel like he is still team dependent. He can't solo carry. He might sometimes feel like he can, but you're going to get kited. I feel like I'm a pretty heavy damage build, but I still can't do that much. Oh man, I didn't interrupt it. E it would have been a nice catch because his team left the rise, but we had to CC him before he finished the TP. Hmm. How do we hold this? We have MF ult? Yeah. That's a huge shield. What? He's like full health again. Alright, Emma. Please ult at some point when this tower is still alive. Okay. Holy moly. Alright, Mundo's steeping behind them. Let's try to home guard. I'm gonna. Pick up an elixir, maybe? Alright, here we go. Oh. Brutal. Okay, what do I need? Uh, their Ezreal's got 12 kills, so I'm primarily needing armor. I just feel like I'll get focused by their team and then have to leave the fight. I think we're misplaying horribly as five. Like we'll have, we never really have uh, our tank peeling the Mundo or me, because one of us is dead. This guy is going crazy, like not the good kind. Not like, man, this guy's going off. It's more like, uh, this guy is tilted. So we lose Mundo, and then we have to try to fight without him. And I think we desperately need him for peel. Because I'm not quite as tanky as him. I've got more damage, and we're unable to kill some of the carries. Uh, okay... I can get back now. Pressure in the inhib is not going to work. They might have Jax going back, but they for sure have Thresh going back. And I think they're going to try to end. Okay. I can't solo kill the Jax. Not anymore. He's reached Jax mode. You can like feed all you want on Jax, but you reach like full item build or close to it. You're still going to be a better duelist than people that were performing well early on. Don't have as much single target damage. <clears throat> We're getting outscaled. I need to wait and make the right decision here. I think I was showing. Blanc hasn't died very many times, but when she has died, it's been through, like, it's like a very crucial moment in a team fight. We need uh, her to stay alive.
Dude, they're ending the game. We we probably just lost because they're gonna stop our backs. Maybe they're definitely gonna stop our backs. Let's try to catch him. Maybe he thinks we're all gonna back. Now he's gone. We didn't need all need to go back, but we needed to make sure some people got back. Because if no one got back, we were done though. Oh, nice. Oh, that was close. If she got queued, I don't think she would die, but it would be calling it close. Baron or Elder? I think we should do Elder first since it's... Like, we'd have to wait 15 seconds for Baron. Gotta be careful for the lead. Do we finish, or do we turn? I think we're gonna try to finish. Alright, we need to go to Baron. I'm going to recall to get mana, but we need a gun for Baron. I think they're going to try to rush it. Mundo recall. Mundo defend. Mundo defend. Because we need to make use of this Elder very quickly and turn this into a Baron. Okay. It would be great to have Mundo defend because he's got the TP. So our MF can just like do Baron. All right, what am I sitting at now? How close to Guardians? I mean, ideally we would just straight up fight. I'm gonna die here. Oh, it was bad. I was by myself. I almost solo killed him, but it was it was bad because my team was chasing other targets. I think they should have been with me, but this is really chaotic. It was so split. Oh man. I hate to die in that situation. So I'm going for their most fed carry. It's a two and six rise. If he flashes away, just go for the next most fed carry. But it was a mistake to go for the Ezreal, even though he was out of position, because our team was tunneling so hard on the other kills. Yo, yo, yo. Peel, 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 peel. Nice. Okay, this should be... Maybe an ace? Wait, he died. Oh. This is full clown fiesta. Okay, Lee is dead. Can they get that? Oh. Okay. They might actually be able to get that. No, no they can't. No, they can't. They should have listened to my call to go to Baron. Aw, oh, they're gonna throw now. Uh Ding. Enemy double That's a heartbreaker. <laughs> Not the I mean, I, I thought it was so crazy it actually could work, even though the right call was just to go to Baron, since they just killed the Lee Sin and I was spawning. Uh, sometimes solo queue has got some really good strats, next level. In this case, I think it wasn't the right next level. <laughs> it, was, it was next level, but it was not the right direction. Okay. We need to defend this. Like, it's late enough to the game that if we think that they're just not going to do Baron because they're down the Ezreal, it's just not true because they have Rise and Jax. They can, like, two-man it. And after all said and done, we're, like, back at square one. Like, we had the Elder advantage. We didn't press it to get Baron. Now we have to fight the enemy team over Baron without Elder or an advantage, really. It's just later into the game and everyone's getting closer to full build, and I feel like we're at a disadvantage with the full build versus full build team. <laughs> Makes me feel sad. Whoa, I don't want to steal that. Let's do River Crab. We just gotta do all the small advantages we can get. 
Um, let's not make this a 50-50 smite. That would be a lame way to lose. Ah, oh, I'm gonna waste ghosts. Oh, if she hit that E, it would actually kill him. How low is he? It's very, very low, I think. Pretty low. Okay. Actually lost that trade. Because <laughs> I was just life stealing. I still have ult. Nice bubble. Oh, I jumped the gun on that. <laughs> I did not want him to take the lantern, but we killed him before he could take it. We need to bait this. We absolutely don't want it to be 50-50 smite. Oh, rise. That was a really good catch from LeBlanc. We just don't want her to die. do this very quickly. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh shit, I'm kicked out of the pit. Please, please no. I'm not in the pit anymore. That's why it's so sketchy when you're jungling against like Lee. He can kick you out of the pit and also outsmite you with the Q. My team was really smart there. They stopped hitting the Baron when he came into the pit. Worst case scenario is uh, your team keeps hitting the Baron, you get kicked out of the pit, you lose Baron, you lose the game. So anything uh, that's not that is good. <laughs> Lindo with red, sure, why not? LeBlanc's getting really good catches. She really stepped up her game. Just one kill can lead to a big enough lead that you and your team can get Baron off of. Yeah. Okay. Still, we've gotten plenty of objectives before. We still need to make use of this Baron. Gonna go for the inhib. Yo, I'm getting the free inhib. You guys just need to chill. Wait, are you still gonna chase me, bud? Taking you for a ride. Horsey Express. While your base dies. Is that the triple inhib? Yes it is. Tanking. I want to get in a position where I can hit the tower, but I'm also dealing with minion block right now. We still have Guardians. Alright, Guardians popped. Triple in hit, we got Supers coming in. The Nexus. Great comeback victory. Good job, guys. Plenty of mistakes for both teams, but I'm glad we came out on top. I think uh, 